Mike with AM here. Today I'm going to tell you guys about how I almost got a felony starting my landscaping company when I moved from Michigan to South Carolina. All right guys, so I actually was in search of a trailer. So I made a little Facebook post and said, um, anybody out there who has trailers, maybe they haven't posted, who are willing to sell them, you know, maybe a little bit cheaper if I need to fix them up or anything like that. And I got a private message from a guy who said, hey, I got a buddy who's got a trailer and he only wants like 250 bucks for it. It was a five by eight trailer. I'll go into brief detail. Um, if you go to Lowe's and look at one of these, they're about 800 bucks. And this thing looked brand new. So I said, 250 bucks, like that's super cheap. Uh, why does he want to get rid of it? He says, oh, he used to have a landscape company and he's doing a total liquidation of everything. So I said, well, what else does he got? So he said, well, he's got this trailer. He's got this other trailer. I said, well, I'll buy both those trailers. And so I bought two trailers off of them. I think I spent $400. I bought the five by eight and I bought a little like four by four uh, trailer. I'm actually going to have a picture later that shows those trailers that I bought. Um, and then he actually sold me another five by eight trailer, which all I did was take that trailer, take a picture of it. I bought it for 250 and I sold it for 500. So I started thinking, well, maybe I'll just stop, keep buying stuff off this guy and reselling it. So I do that for a little while and I say, well, what other stuff do you have? And he shows me pictures of chainsaws, weed whackers, all kinds of stuff. And I said, well, I already got all that stuff. Um, you know, I was doing landscaping at the time and I had all steel equipment and I just didn't need any of those other things, but he was selling them super cheap. And I was like, well, I'd rather just only resell the trailers because I make more money off of it. So eventually he says, well, what about riding lawnmowers since you do landscaping? And I said, sure. Uh, how much do you want for him? So he brought over one and it was like pretty much like a $13,000 mower. I didn't know that at the time, but he only wanted like 800 bucks for it. And I was just like, wow, that's really a good deal. And I was even thinking I could just take these back up to Michigan and resell them there. Even if I drove them all the way, like that's a lot of money. So then he brought over the big one and he actually had the small one with him as well. And he said, hey, do you want this small mower as well? It's a riding mower, uh, like 34 inch gravely, I wanna say. And the uh, the bigger one was like a 54 inch Toro. So I'm gonna have a picture showing these mowers and the trailers um, that I got from this guy. So I ended up paying like $1,200 for these two mowers. So 800 for the one, 400 for the little one. And everything was great. Like for months I used all the truck, I mean all the trailers, all the mowers and I started cutting lawns. I got up to like 70 lawns at one point. And one day I come home from a job and my gates open in the backyard and there's a bunch of people standing out front. So I literally thought somebody broke in and stole my mowers. Like this is crazy. And I pull in and they start pointing to the mower that I pull in with because I had a mower on my trailer at the time. And they're like, there it is. And they all came over. They were a bunch of detectives and they actually had a warrant to search my yard. So I was like, just in shock. I was like, what is going on? And they informed me that all the stuff that I had been buying off this guy was actually stolen. So I was in complete shock. And they said, you bought all this stolen equipment. If you buy more than $10,000 of stolen equipment, then you can actually be charged with a felony. And I was like, what are you talking about? I, I tried explaining, you know, like, I don't know these people. I just moved here. And they're like, well, you should know how much equipment's worth and stuff like that. And I said, I had never bought riding mowers before. And I didn't know if the prices were just way different down here. I even told them, I was like, I plan on going up north and reselling them because the stuff was so cheap. After talking to the cops for a little while and them knowing that I don't actually know these people, they actually said they're going to tack on another felony to that guy's felony, the guy who sold me all the stuff because now he stole $1,200 from me, which I guess could be another felony. So these two mowers that were sold to me were actually stolen from a church. And at the time, the police officer was watching the video camera of this green truck pull off, uh, he had one of those shipping containers, pull off the, uh, the front of the shipping container with his truck, just with a chain, and then he loaded up the two mowers and then he drove directly from there to my house, I found out later, and sold them to me. 
But what the cops said was he was watching the surveillance and he got a little radio call that said, hey, there's a green F-150 turned over on the highway. And he's looking at the F-150 on the recording and he's like, hmm, that's really weird. So this is how they caught this guy because I talked to the detectives for a while and they ended up telling me. He goes out and checks out this scene um, and they're looking for a license plate because when they stole those mowers, they actually took a couple license plates as well. So it was really dark and the cops said that, you know, he looked everywhere, looked inside the car, didn't find it. The, the guys wouldn't admit to stealing the mowers. So the cops said he had a hunch that that license plate was there. He went back to the scene the next day and he said he was looking around and he looked up and up in the trees, he saw the license plate there. And he said it was almost like a sign from God, which is kind of funny because, or ironic, because they stole the mowers from a church. So I thought that was kind of funny. He said that, you know, usually they can never recover stolen property like that. But because there was a license plate in the trees, that was the same one that was stolen from the property, they could tie it all together. So... Um, the other cop told me that there was actually quite a few churches in the area that were, had equipment stolen from them as well. So that's why, you know, you ever watch Home Alone, you got the wet bandits. I would call these people like the church bandits or church thieves. So that was their MO was stealing from churches, which is pretty crappy. But the other thing they did, they actually called my dad and was like, Hey, uh, is your son involved in any illegal activity or anything like that? And my dad was just like, oh, you know, I don't know what he's into, but you know, tell him I love him. So that really pissed me off too, that I was a grown man and they were calling my dad. But that was just another thing that happened. But basically they loaded up the mowers, took them away, didn't give me a felony, tacked on a felony to that guy's record. And um, the two trailers then I said, well, these two trailers are probably stolen as well. Um, you know, are you guys going to confiscate those? And they said, there's no way for us to tie to show who those belong to. So we can't do nothing about it. So I actually still have the one trailer, believe it or not, like four years later. And sorry to whoever that got stolen from. I had no idea what I was buying. But um, when they dropped off the mowers as well, this is another thing. They had a big car trailer. And this car trailer was probably an $1,800 trailer. And he said, oh, do you want the trailer too? I can just drop off the trailer with the mowers and just sell you everything. You know, I'll just give me another 500 bucks for the trailer. Well, the trailer was like a 20 foot long trailer and I had no room for it at, my, at the time. So I was like, no, dude, I do not need that trailer. Come to find out later, like a month later, after all this is done with, I go on Facebook and I see a guy who says, somebody stole my car trailer and did like $3,000 worth of damage. They drove it out through their fence and everything, destroyed everything. So this guy was out like $3,000 worth of damage plus a $1,800 trailer. So they almost did $5,000 worth of damage to this guy. And I said, I know exactly who stole your trailer. Um, they actually sold me some stolen mowers and he contacted the police and he did a report and everything too. As far as I heard, he never got his trailer back though. And the other thing that was really, really interesting was I said, well, like, how much jail time are these people facing? And they're like, well, if they admit to, you know, this crime, they could probably get like a year for doing these mowers. But if they start telling us other stuff that they've stolen, they could get that reduced down to like 30 days. So I was like, that's pretty crazy that you could steal all this stuff. And if you get away with it a bunch of times and then confess, you can get your sentence knocked down a lot. So if you're a lawyer or know anything about the law, leave a comment, but that's just what they told me. But yeah, so that's my story of how I lost $1,200, still have a stolen trailer that I still use, and how I almost got a felony for literally just buying some stolen equipment. So if you wanna see more videos like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification button, and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.